Tonight, we are here to celebrate her 40th recording anniversary. As it has been for, war for 40 years, once again, it is history in the making. Let's get ready to enjoy Pastor Shirley Caesar then and now. Like God, that somehow forgotten that you are faced with circumstances that you cannot get through. Right now it seems that there is no way out, and you're going under. God's proven time and time again that He'll fix it for you. You've been going through and how you are hurting. He understands just how your heart has been broken into. Can I get a witness? He's a God of the sun, the stars, the seas. He is our Father. He'll calm your storm and He'll find a way and He'll fix it for you. What are you doing? You made 
when we have to make a choice. Somebody said choice. Amen. You've got to make up your mind that to continue to go left in your life is not what God wants for you because God has purpose for your life. God has destiny for your life. So you've got to tell yourself, live or die, sink or swim. I'm going to choose. 
this day whom I'm going to serve. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap. One Tuesday morning, I was laying in my bed. I never shall forget it. It was around 7 a.m. in the morning. God from Shekinah glory touched me and shook me and woke me up and said, Surely men and women are out there dying. They're living like they don't even care whether they're going to ever live or die. But God said, I've given you a message, Shirley, and I want you to go and tell everybody to choose you this day.
because the Holy Ghost uh, kept on talking to me. Uh, he said, now listen, Shirley Ann, uh, go tell the grocery man.
tomorrow, you'll give your hope. But tomorrow, oh! How many of you know that there's power in his name? I changed my mind. I don't, I don't want us to call him too loud right now. I just want to call him soft like Jesus. 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 I love Call him. Call him your name. Jesus, 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 every day, every day, quiet, it's your time to come in soft now, come on.
Jonah Gunn is in the house tonight. I'm going to ask Joe if you'll come tonight and share with me. This is Jonah Gunn of the Mighty Clouds of Joy. When you talk about praising your way through, it is this young man, after going through open heart surgery, how many? Three, triple bypass, not so long ago, and God gave him back his life. Give God some praise for him. Well, I come tonight to tell you, I don't care what it looks like, I don't care what it smells like, let me tell you something, nothing, somebody said nothing, nothing is too hard for God. There are no problems, there are no crises, there are no situations. God's got it all in control. I don't know whether you believe that tonight. He's got it all in control. You know he put that reassurance When I'm alone in my soul Yeah, yeah I've come to tell somebody That God's got it in control You ready? God got it all Hallelujah. God got it all in control. You know what? He put that reassurance way down in my soul. God got it all in control. You know what I want you to say? I want you to say this to somebody tonight. It's going to be all right in the morning. I believe you can say it. It's going to be all right in the morning. How many believe that? It's just, it's just, just bass, drums, 
There you go. Come on, bass. Yeah. There you go. Now, the old folk used to just pat their feet. Come on. And every now and then you can clap your hand if you want to. Oh, Peter. Yes. Peter, don't be a friend. Jesus said, oh, I like that. Come on, man. 
Well, I'll tell you a story now. <laughs> About a man. John Jordan, a dead church. They didn't believe in dancing. They didn't believe in speaking in other tongues. But all of a sudden, only they opened the doors of that old dead church. John Jordan, that old dead church. When John joined that old dead church, he came in. Hey. Dancing all around the church, they tried to hold his legs, his hands were gone. When they turned their hands are loose, the feet were going. My bones. They did everything they could uh, to stop old John. Uh, when they could not stop him, uh, they made up in their mind. Uh, we gotta go out to John's house, y'all. Uh, but doesn't he know uh, we don't act like that in our church? Uh, doesn't John know uh, we've got dignified people uh, and they're in our church? Uh, we're gonna Going to John's house. Well, come on down here, y'all. When they got out there, come, come, come. They found this 90 year old man, him, and an old beat up mule. I cannot hold my 
peace no longer. Did you see all of that land? Did you all just throw in on? He said, God gave me all of that land. You don't want to let me praise the Lord in your church. Come on, I want you to bend over and look. Come on, bend down, go. He said, I'm still able to harvest my own crop. Stay right there. I'm still able to walk down the heaven of you. He said, not only that, but look at him. Look. Look. I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rabbits, you name it. God name it. When I was sick, he healed me. When I was put out doors, he put a roof over my head. Have you got anything to praise him for tonight? Since I can't shout in your church, I got something I want you to do for me. Mama know where he was Got over there In a bad accident The doctor said he'd never be able To walk again He had braces on his legs And the family tried to find him To let him know that his mama Had passed away But to no avail Finally The news reaches him Two weeks later, we see him standing 
with crutches on his arms and braces on his legs in front of a fresh grave putting petals from the roads on the ground and look like I can hear that boy saying to his mother too late petals from Remember that one, but Mama, I try to give you flowers while you live. If I had a million dollars, I'd line your grave with gold. While he was standing there, two of his sisters drove up. They got out of the car, they walked over to their brother. They said, brother, we did everything we could to get in touch with you. One of them said, but one thing I did, I took my diamond ring and I placed it on her hand. I knew you'd be pleased with that. The other sister said, brother, we couldn't find you. But I remember that mama loved to wear furs. And I took my fur coat and I draped it about her shoulders. The young man could not think about none of that. All he could see was that the best friend was gone. And I heard him say, oh, mama. But mama, I try oh, to make you happy while you live. You know I try. Oh, if I had a million dollars, yes. Mama, I'd line your grave with gold. But that wouldn't wake you from your The armed services, I want you to come and just stand around here because you're going to salute this flag. Coming. 
Wow, wow. Come on, come on, clap your hands for them. Can I get you to salute this flag now? Stand just like that. I'm ready. Brother Michael, I want you to just continue to salute. The song says, how many will be remembered? So many have already died uh, in the Iraqi war. And God has spared these young men and, and women's lives. And so... How many will be remembered? You can't do that. If you don't want to salute, just put your hand over your heart. A million unsung heroes over there, and they're here at home. While sleeping in their graves, their names are unknown. The Lincoln Kings and Kennedys, they will all go down in history. But so will Hitler and little old Al Capone. It takes people, all kinds of people, to make a world, they say. We've got all kinds of people passing through this world today. We've got saints, sinners, losers, and winners, the good old me's and you's. But how many will be remembered? Just a few. John Wilkes Booth, Lee, Harvey Oswald, uh, and names like James Earl Ray. They're never to be forgotten since, but they'll stay like thorns in the minds of men. Uh, a hundred million years from today, you know what, church, uh, it takes people, it takes people, uh, to make a world. We've got saints, sinners, and losers, and winners, the good old me and the future. How many will be remembered? Just a few. Let me hear the choir.
Blessed are they that mourn. One night in a Midwestern town, a preacher just closed a revival and he made up his mind tonight, I'm going to board the train to go home to be with my family. And so he got on the train and he sat beside a young man who had been crying. And he noticed it because the man's eyes had turned pink. And he said to the young man, he said, said, son, said, so I'm a preacher, I'm a man of God. And I perchance, I can say something that will help you. I can say something to encourage you. The young man said, said, preacher, I've been roaming the countryside now for the last 12 years. I haven't been home in over 12 years. He said, and the reason why I had to leave was that I had such a bad attitude. I even had the nerve to strike my father with my fist. My daddy came to me and said, son, you got to go. You're breaking your mother's heart. And he said, and I want to go home. I, 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 I want to go home so bad. And so the preacher said to him, said, well, how do you know that you're going to be accepted? How do you know that everything is going to be all right? Or if you can even get off the train. He said, well, all of my life we've lived in a little white house that sits right beside of these tracks. And I wrote my mama a letter. And I said to mama in the letter, mama, I want to come home. I want to come home so bad, I don't know what to do. And if it's all right for me to get off the train, there's an apple tree out there. Have daddy to tie rag in the tree and I'll know as to whether or not I can get off. He said to the preacher, preacher, we're almost home. We're almost home. Will you look out the window and tell me? Look out of that window and tell me if you can see that rag in the tree. The old preacher took the arm of his sleeves and he wiped the window. And he looked out. And he turned back and looked at the young man. He said, son, you don't have anything to worry about. So that old apple tree is in full bloom. In fact, there are white rags from one end of that tree to the other. And not only that, but down under that old apple tree, I see a gray-headed Oh, mom and dad, and they have this big old white bed sheet, and they're just waving it, saying, Come on home, son. Come on home. Come on home, son. Come on home. And that's the way God is. That's the way God is. No matter what you may have done, you can always come back home. No matter how black and how grimy your life may have been, you can always come home. It doesn't doesn't even matter if you're not changed. You can always come back home. And I pray tonight that there is somebody. I said, Pastor, I want to come back home. Open! Can I hear somebody say, Lord, I'm coming home. Open, open. Come on, choir. Open, open wide.
Get me!